Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkol Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to share my experience on how I have landed my very first client to provide web design services using Elementor Builder as a complete beginner on Upwork or for this specific job category. So first of all, let me share a little overview of my background. So I've been providing virtual assistant services as a freelancer since 2012. And as I have been doing same repetitive tasks for most of my clients, I started feeling bored and I decided to make a change and I decided to learn web development back in 2019. But after learning HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript, I got a great offer for virtual assistant services. The pay rate was really high comparing to the usual pay rate I used to get. So I took the offer and I started working for the client and after working around six months the project has completed and the work is done. So now then I just realized I made a big mistake, mistake because if I was learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript and some other frameworks like Vue.js, React etc then I could be in a better, much better position than just earning that money by working on that job, okay? So I feel like I'm ashamed and I feel like I'm frustrated. So I decided to continue uh, learning web development and I started revising the HTML, CSS and JavaScript stuffs. But unfortunately, when I was revising HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I uh, felt like there are so many lags I have Get a goat so far from that uh, six or eight months so it just went like it's too hard to continue it's too hard to continue so i just thought why shouldn't i proceed with developing website or providing services using the builders like i have learned about uh, elementor builder dv then i have learned about wp bakery and I have started reading blogs, I have started watching uh, tutorials on Elementor and other stuff. So one thing I just realized, Elementor is much easier than the other builders for me actually. This is my personal experience and whatever I am watching on the videos when I go for practicing, I am being able to understand the lessons so, so easily because I have got basic idea about HTML and CSS so I was being able to understand about the padding stuff, merging stuff, then index, positioning and many other things like custom coding etc. And basically I started enjoying the process of Elementor and how it works. So what I did in the process of learning, let me show you here on my computer, I have started uh, building some portfolio sites so first of all let me show you some of the portfolio sites that made okay so C O P D and let it be loaded here I'm going to open few more that made and if you see here and not only this I have built many more websites using Elementor to develop my skills as you can see this is one of the web pages I have created uh, using Elementor just take a look all right so here we have got another one and basically me and my cousin we two people who are working on the background for these websites and we have developed many websites as our portfolio and these are some of them as you can see beautiful animation works so we built this portfolio and then I as I have mentioned I have been working as a virtual assistant I just changed everything on my work, uh, Upwork account as you can see I have changed my details here I am providing WordPress plus Elementor Pro specialist services actually and I have just built this profile and optimized this profile to provide this Elementor based services accordingly right so after that what, what I did as you can see this is the job which is which was the first job I have done for Elementor based services five star rating and here's the review from or the feedback from the client and we have got these job details here so here so what I did when I just built some of these demo templates demo websites by watching some demo templates from online uh, let's say from Colorly, from uh, Google searches so you can actually find like let's say portfolio 
website templates if i just make a search here you are going to find like on theme forest you are going to find on color lib if i open this page uh, just take a look you are going to find beautiful this one was another page which i have created okay so uh, in one of my um one of my uh, domain here i have assigned it in a domain but i almost forgot what was the domain so pardon me so you can simply find all of these templates and then just replicate these designs make these designs for your by your own by using elementor and it is going to help you gain the real experience and you will have the portfolio to show so after making these portfolios what i did to get the job so faster so i went to upwork i went to find work page and i made search for here so let's say i made search elementor to find all the jobs relevant to Elementor um, service so I made a search like this and then as you can see here expert Elementor landing page designer this is one job which I have just done the similar job I have done if I just uh, take you back again here in my Upwork profile where it is okay so this one HTML sales page to Elementor page builder template so I was actually doing a landing page and if I show you the actual landing page which I have built for this project so I'm going to type out p1.achorrafi and just take a look this is the landing page which I have created step by step from the scratch and I have documented every single steps I have documented everything for any beginner if they watch the video lessons they are going to be able to create these types of landing pages and much better types of landing pages by watching my videos let me show you where you can get these tutorials simply go to YouTube type Achharul Rafi and from here as you can see landing page in 2021 pop up form in Elementor landing page so if I show you the actual playlist from here uh, go to playlists and you are going to find landing page with Elementor uh, I already have uploaded seven videos as you can see step by step so if you watch them you should be able to create beautiful landing pages like this one even if you're a complete beginner I have covered everything from the scratch so this is this was the project which I have done on this one and I have documented and so how I got this job actually I was about to share this experience so what I did I came here on Upwork find works page and then I have made uh, with this keyword Elementor to find all the relevant jobs and I have found like let's say uh, let's say this one okay so I have found this this job on Upwork and I read the job description then I clicked on submit a proposal And I have just selected all the information which I should provide and as you can see here what landing page have you designed please give me links this was the question or these types of question I had for this job which I have done here this one I had a question I just entered all of these links as you can see this one I have entered this uh, portfolio link I have entered this portfolio link and this one and I've got few more I don't uh, I don't uh, recall them so let me just put here the here are the um, web page designs web page um, I designed using Elementor so in this case for this one as you can see this one is for Elementor landing page so I should provide like um, let's say now I could do like this uh, here is the most recent landing page work I have done using Elementor okay then I could simply uh, paste my actually if you want I can simply post a uh, put this landing page design here all right so basically what I did when I was learning about Elementor I built this portfolio as uh, while I was actually practicing and learning and then when I apply on jobs I simply add these URLs into these um, job post and this is what helped me get my very first job in I just applied on to, at 8 to 10 um, jobs and then I got hired so this is how I got my very first client for Elementor based services so I believe you have found this video informative encouraging to start your journey as a Elementor 
our WordPress service provider, WordPress based service provider. And if you have found this video informative and helpful, please give this video a like and share your opinion by commenting below. And if you're interested to learn more about Elementor, WordPress, website development and designing, then you can subscribe to my channel to learn from me. I have to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.